family, friends, and co-workers gathered tonight to honor three valet workers who were killed over the weekend. Police say the young victims lost their lives when a vehicle involved in a police pursuit struck them at high speed. Our Keith Garvin live in the Galleria area tonight at the restaurant where that vigil was held. Keith? Dominic, we're just outside the establishment where that vigil was held. And over here on the front steps, you can still see pictures of the young men and also candles that are still burning in their honor. All this right around the corner where those three young men lost their lives on Friday. We are here to pray. We are here to embrace. Not just a remembrance. Tonight is all about showing love. But a celebration of three lives taken so soon and so senselessly. Tonight is about Houston showing love to these three families. Nearly 200 people showed up at the Prospect Park Sports Bar near the Galleria to honor the lives of 18-year-old Fanon Miyasho, 22-year-old Eric Orduna, and 23-year-old Nick Rodriguez. The three valets were killed Friday night after police say a 17-year-old suspect crashed into them during a high-speed chase with Houston police. It's just not fair. He was only here for a little bit of time. Kenya Garcia was Nick Rodriguez's roommate and best friend to his girlfriend. Friends say Garcia was getting his life back on track and was flourishing in his love of music. They we're family here and just we really appreciate it. It means so much. Fanon Miyasho was the youngest of the three victims. His family moved to Houston from the East African country of Eritrea, and Fanon was trying to build a life of his own. I just want to tell him that I love him so much, and I want to, I want to, I want to see him again. One, two, three. The night included a balloon release as a sign of unity. Unity to honor these three young men and to seek wow. justice for their lost lives. It's so nice to see that people care about getting justice for what's taken away from us so, so stupidly. Just so stupid. It's not, it didn't have to happen. Yeah, a lot of pain. A lot of them are dealing with the families of Fanon Miyasho and also Eric Orduna have set up GoFundMe accounts to help with the funeral expenses for those two. If you would like to contribute, just look for the links in this story at clicktohouston.com. Reporting live near the Galleria, Keith Garvin, KPRC 2 News. Thanks.